guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you for joining me once more my name is Rosalind Waridi you are very much welcome please make sure to subscribe watch until the end of today's video because I've already been monetized now my main goal is to improve my audience retention and uh, watch my ads as well so that I can earn something from YouTube right <laughs> anyway on today's video i'm gonna be talking about lessons that i have learned during this pandemic we are currently at phase four in the pandemic and just like you i'm sure you were hit hard for one i have not seen my family for a very long time we have people who have lost their jobs people who have had to conform and completely change their life because they had the the virus and thankfully we are recovering from this pandemic so so far so good but still that does not exempt us from the life-changing decisions that we have had to make for one hassle is real people have lost their jobs some companies have reduced salary of their employees which means responsibilities did not stop coming in in fact they still continue to linger because now we have to purchase extra stuff like masks we have to protect ourselves right masks gloves so many other things sanitizers which we did not really consider priority before i always had a sanitizer but mask no gloves no it was not a priority so now i have to budget for such kind of things you might think it's cheap but in the long run when you check your budget for the many months then you will realize how much you have spent that means we have more responsibilities than before if you have a family you don't just purchase for you you purchase for your family as well you know some people have had to travel long distances to make it back to their countries and ticket prices were very very high because not many airlines were traveling but the demand was great so prices were hiked these are things to think about hustle is real and if you don't have a source of income and you have responsibilities you hit a wall how are you going to adapt that's the first thing i have learned during this pandemic secondly savings is important you hustle you get your money but if the income is not as before and you don't have savings what happens next having an emergency fund is very very important thirdly minimalist life budgeting buying what you need not what you want buying what you really need not just because you look at it and you feel yeah i like it i want it no it's not like that anymore we have had to downsize our expenditure and only prioritize things that we need <laughs> so i have learned that i was not like this before yes i did budget but i would pleasure myself with the nitty gritties of life i also want to reward myself for working hard but i had to really narrow down on what i really really need because money was not coming in like it was before not just on salary people are making losses from their investments some lost completely you know fourthly investing in an institution that allows you to access your money when you need it one of the fundamentals of a good investment is is your principal amount protected is principal amount of principal capital you know what i mean is your principal amount protected but also do you have access to your money what's the point of investing when you cannot access your money when you need it we have basic needs but we cannot meet them because we have money stashed somewhere because we have to wait for them to mature so that we can access it you know or there are other things that are written in the contract that limit us from accessing it so are we going to die yet there is some money somewhere that you can access so that you can provide for your family i'm speaking specifically about people who have larger responsibilities than myself you know you have kids who need to be protected who need education who need to have basic needs Maybe you have a, a wife who is pregnant, but you are unable to pay for maternal services because your money is 
held up somewhere you know what i mean i have had to reevaluate again those i consider friends <laughs> a friend in need is a friend indeed so the saying goes what kind of friends do you have we hear this all the time so i don't really need to get in depth into that you know who is surrounding you you know you are in a circle you know their strength you know their weaknesses are they destroying you silently are you accepting that the best time to know someone someone's true character is during troubled times these are troubled times another way to know someone truly is what they do when people are not looking so during the pandemic i've had to really evaluate my circle around me and uh, figure out who is true and who is not who is toxic and who isn't i probably should have put this as the first point health health is wealth guys health is wealth i don't need to get into the biology of the how the virus spreads in your body how it works how it destroys you if you have a weak immune system what happens if you have a strong one what happens i'm not a doctor do your own research on that guys health is wealth because health is so expensive we had privileges that we assume are going to last forever like a simple action as sitting in a restaurant it was so normal to do it but then during the pandemic we couldn't a simple thing as hugging someone to show affection nowadays is little you know <laughs> you cannot do that anymore you have to be careful where you're touching whom you're touching where have they come from where have you come from did you sanitize that's the first thing someone will ask you if you extend a hand to shake it you know so all these things were so normal to us but now they're so precious because we cannot enjoy them as we used to before reality to be honest this time has taught me a lot of things i have had more time to reflect on my private life and public life my time has been spent on reading a lot of books and i honestly don't feel like i've wasted my time because i've also been busy meditating reflecting thinking a lot <laughs> trying to find a balance you know in who i am who i really am as a person this period has indeed been stressful it still continues to be but people handle situations differently and anxiety creeps in when we are stressed and this affects how we spend money <laughs> there are those that will become more stingy while others will spend to comfort themselves and let's face it we have also learned that employment is not guaranteed we are dispensable as long as you are employed by an institution you are easily replaced you are not permanent and we have seen this through our friends through those close to us those who we don't know we have seen this in the media we have seen this everywhere the lesson to learn here is have multiple streams of income aside from your savings have multiple streams of income needs versus wants work backwards with your income save first spend whatever you have we hear this all the time saving first becomes a need that is after you take care of your utilities think of it this way i like that bag i like that shoe i love that car but i love living a debt free life the most and with that we have come to the end of today's video thank you guys for watching if you have any more things that you have learned during this pandemic the comment section is open please share 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 i appreciate interaction i do also want to learn from you guys as well and uh, 
at this point if you have not subscribed make sure you do so reach me out on instagram and i'm gonna link it in the description too so you can go there and uh, share your ideas with me if you want through my dm or through the comment section interact with me as well i'll see you guys next time on fridays keep in mind i post growth in finance mental health random videos on lifestyle travel you know <laughs> or on monday i do growth in youtube videos if you want to start a youtube channel make sure to check out my playlist about growth in youtube videos check my other playlists as well so you guys take care of yourselves we got this we are going to survive this and i'll see you guys next time bye bye Mwah.